This is a first edition of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, published in 1885. My name is Pom Harrington, and I'm the owner of Peter Harrington. So, what makes this a first edition first printing, and why is it special? Well, let me show you. Um, with this book, actually, the first edition is in this sort of square quarto format, um, and it stayed like this for a little while. And the only way of actually telling the difference between a first printing and a later printing are through some textual points um, that where mistakes were made in the first printing and corrected in later printings. So we're going to check to see if we have those textual faults. Now the first one is on page nine. And we're going to go down, it's in the chapter headings here. And down here at the bottom there, it says in the first state, the first printing I should say, Huck decided to leave. Well, that was an error, and that was corrected to decides to leave in the second printing. So we have that point. The next fault is on page 13, and it's a misnumbering, and in the list of illustrations. And we come down here, and it's known as him and another man, and it's page 88. Actually, that was incorrect, and it should say page 87. This was corrected in the second and later printings. And then the other key point, we're going to turn to page 57. And we're going to go down there. It's in the middle of the text. And it goes a hole in the bottom of which with the was was a misspelling. And actually, it should be with the saw. Now, why is this copy special? Well, actually, it's all down to the condition of the book. Um, the book was a huge success. They actually printed, a, a, I think, something like 25,000 copies. Um, it was read to death by um, a, a big fan base um, in America, actually in the UK as well. Um, and because of that, survival of the book in nice condition is really quite tough. And, and this copy, and I'm going to open it up gently. I'm going to try and show you the spine here. Um, it's very, very prone to um, rubbing. And what actually happens is you can see here on the, on the spine the gilt. Um, is all there and very solid. And in, in, in condition, um, most copies, you find that that gilt is rubbed off um, and it's not here. And if you look at the rest of the book, you can see that it's still got this slight like, shine on, on, on the cloth um, as it was issued. And the gilt really jumps out against that dark background. With, with all these points, we have a really about fine copy um, of this first printing of Huckleberry Finn. Uh, for more details on this book and other first editions by Mark Twain, um, I would ask you to look at the Peter Harrington website where you will find our contact details and we'll be delighted to answer your questions.